Hello everyone and welcome to another Fast Styles Edit. Thank you to everyone who took part in the Twitter question to choose what we're going to edit this week and I'm really looking forward to the edit itself. In case you weren't already aware, the winner of the poll was a picture of a single oak standing amidst a load of silver birch. And it's a picture that I am quite fond of myself. really like how the oak stands out and the silver birch is just kind of giving it that little bit more depth to the actual picture. So I guess the best thing we can do is get straight on with the edit and see how we get on. Okay, so as you can see the picture itself, and as I already mentioned, we've got this wonderful oak tree standing tall in the center of the image. And on either side, a couple of silver birches still growing, winding out of the ground, and just kind of giving a bit of brightness to the outside of the image with the darker oak in the middle, but making it a focal point and giving it a bit of framing. That was the intention anyway, whether that actually comes across is open to interpretation. So the first image that I'm going to do... I might not go too heavy on the blues, just soften it a little bit. Let's leave the tint, and exposure-wise... Yeah, let's, um, let's bring that up. So, there's not too much clouds in here in terms of being a problem, but they are a problem because the highlights have been overblown there. Not going to worry too much with what I've got in mind with this. Contrast, I'm going to bring that down. I'm just going to lose some of that saturation a bit. So let's push that back again and then highlights. Bring those down. Shadows. So what I'm doing is just trying to get a little bit of separation, not too much. And I'm actually going to bring that dehaze down. So I want to give it a bit of a misty look. And we're going to pump that vibrance back up a little bit. Now, let's start playing with that curve. So obviously that's going to give it much more of that haze kind of feeling. Losing a bit of haze there, if we're just putting in the S-curve, I'm not too worried about that. Let's bring it down, about there. So for me, as usual, actually... Let's make those greens pop a little bit. Put it on the HSL. Not usually playing around in that area, but... up a lot. This is just playing into this more ethereal look that I'm trying to get for this picture and see how we go with it. I'm going to double down on those blues in the shadows, but then I'm just going to warm it up a little touch, I think. Nah, I don't like that. But you got to try it. So I'll take the highlights back out. That stays as is. Now, an interesting note about this image, it was taken on the Olympus i5, handheld, so there's a lot of noise there, I think the ISO was 3200, but I think it's managed it quite well considering that camera. Lovely little beast. Okay. I think after looking, I'm just going to pump the clarity ever so slightly. We'll leave it there. So let's have a look at the before. There's the after. Let me know what you think in the comments. Am I going a bit blue? Who knows? But we'll move on to the second image. So I'll get those temperature. And I think I can get the temperature quite high with this one. So we can get like a very often vibe. Weirdly, a lot of green on the floor few autumn trees, sorry, autumn leaves in the background. Um, but apart from the lack of leaves, it doesn't really feel like it's uh, midwinter too much. So I'm going to know the exposure on this one. A little bit of a reverse. 
highlights and not too worried about shadows. Come up. And then the blacks. We'll just find a nice area for them. Some texture, clarity come down a little bit. Give it a kind of bit of a dreamy autumn day. No, not as aggressive curve this time, but I'm going to go a little bit further on the blacks. And I might, while we're here, just inside those darks. Ooh, is it kind of like a bit too much of a not a nice yellow vibe? So no, we're not going to do that. It's all about experimentation, right? Greens, I'm just like going to play around with those a little bit. So we're going to increase the luminance, we'll get rid of saturation, and I want to push them more towards the yellows. Likewise, yellows, we're just pushing towards the oranges. Just kind of giving these colours a little bit more. Why well, I'd say a boost towards your tone though. Now let's leave the colour grading for now. Get the chromatic vibrations. Okay. So there we go, image number two. Tell me what you think. So I guess some people might not like these kind of edits. But you've got to play. You've got to have fun. Third image. So let's go up on that exposure. Contrast. High. Let's make this like an image that I would maybe keep a little bit more on the natural side. So I'm actually bringing those highlights up because I just want to see the trees come out a little bit more, but shadows, white stacks, they're coming down just a little bit, just to give a bit more depth to the picture for me. Vibrance can come up a fair amount. black and white quite well. Contrast, I'm going to pump it up. Highlights, you can see we're not going to affect them too much. Same with whites, but what we can do is get those shadows down and get those blacks so I can really make that oak sing a fair bit. Clarity wise will bring that down, so same yellows we can get that oak back in. Let's keep those oranges up a bit more detail. And what I'm going to do with this is put in a bit of gradient. And I realise I haven't done any gradients, oh sorry, any masking 
at all yet on this image. So this is very similar to how I've already edited this image in black and white for my own fun or for the video which will be going out next week. And what we're actually going to do is add another linear gradient. exactly what I should be doing. So I'm pulling that down on either side quite aggressive, maybe not too much. I don't want it to look too too fast, but what I want to do is really focus on that center tree. Um, while I'm here, let's go in again with the radial. Invert. And then we're just going to Give that a touch all around. Quite a heavy feb on that. And I'm just going to pull that contrast down quite aggressively. Get what I want. Curves. All the curves. I want to pull those highlights back just a touch, but I quite like the kind of like the grey mood you get going on on the rest of the trees with changing that final point. So I bring that back. Lots of blacks there, pulling it up. Those blacks become grey, a bit more washed out, but give it a bit more noticeable detail. our usual little polishes and there we go that is the final image a black and white one so there's the original there's the after let me know what you think of that one in the comments i hope you've really enjoyed those edits let me know in the comments which is your favorite what would you have done differently would you have edited them in a little bit of a different way i always like to hear that feedback also given that we're now in february i've swapped over my print of the month check out my website in the description to find it Really hope you'll enjoy this month. It's an image that I'm quite happy with from this trip, from the same one that I got the picture of the tree. But it's one that I'm really pleased of, hence why it's my print of the month. As usual, I hope you've liked this video, and please remember to like and subscribe. It does help. Until next time, see you later all. Well.